met her in the fall. He took her to a movie. Hi everybody, welcome to this fabulous picture show. Please welcome here the filmmaker. This is Denis Villeneuve and he's brought his beautiful film on Sondi. Thank you. Tell us about On Sondi. A few years ago, I saw a play in Montreal written by a young author. His name is Wajdi Mouawad. And I did love the story so much. It's a, such a powerful story that I decided to make a film out of it. And I'm uh, looking forward to uh, talk about it with you. Enterrez-moi sans cercueil, nu et sans prière. Le visage tourné vers le sol, face première contre le monde. When Jean and Simon's mother dies, her final request leads them to find the father they never knew. Le notaire Lebel te remettra une enveloppe. Retrouve-le et remets-lui cette enveloppe. And to seek out a brother they didn't even know existed. Arrête de faire l'innocent. On sait de qui on parle, il n'y a rien d'étonnant là-dedans. On n'invente pas ces choses-là, Simon. Pas dans un testament. As the twins travel back to their mother's war-torn homeland. Is it going to be now all Marwan? They untangle her tragic past. The film moves between the present and the past. Exposing the harrowing journey of Nawal Marwan. Set in an unspecified Middle Eastern country, the film is based on Scorched by Lebanese playwright Wajdi Mawa. It follows Nawal, a Christian, as she sets out to find her lost son. <laughs> and ends up volunteering for the Muslim militia, <laughs> which lands her in prison. <laughs> Known for tackling themes of violence and power in the modern world. <laughs> Villeneuve crafts on Sundays as a shocking depiction of civil war and muddled identities. For many people, they would already assume, just based on, on the playwright's origins, that it's based in Lebanon, but but you contend it's it's not. The play was set in a fiction land. You know that the characters were going in Middle East, but you didn't know where. You assume it was Lebanon because it was talking about some specific topic and uh, events that occur in, in the Lebanese civil war. I was tempted at one point to, to put it in Beirut and uh, to be closest to, to history, but rea I realized uh, very quickly that it will, will be a huge mistake because the film is about ending cycle of violence. It's about peace, it's about anger, uh, and they didn't want to create anger. And the uh, Lebanese conflict is a so complicated conflict. There's 17 different points of view uh, trying to uh, have their own truth. <laughs> I don't see as many films these days that have a woman as a central character like this. And I think you have an exceptional actress. What for you as a director inspired you to make a film about this woman? Some events that uh, we are talking about in the in the film are uh, based on true events, like the mother character is uh, inspired by a woman. Her name is Soha Bechara. She made an attempt against a military chief in South of Lebanon in the 80s. And she spent 10 years of her life in a very narrow jail in the South of Lebanon. I'll struggle with the woman condition, the way woman has to deal with uh, violence or, or either uh, sharing power with men in the world and the way uh, it's something that deeply touched me. What shocked me about the play the first time is that it's like a Greek tragedy and you completely kept that in, in the film. Was, was that a real 
choice. That idea of Wajdi Mawab to be able to reinvent a Greek tragedy with a, a kind of a detective story inside it, a thriller. And I thought it was a very clever uh, way to, uh, to approach uh, this subject. <laughs> Mama, is in prison. It's mom. Mama. Mama, is in prison. <laughs> you saw the changes that that were made in the adaptation. Did you feel like there it, it still encapsulated the essence of of that play when you read it? There's a lot of characters that are not in the film, mm. but what you do get with with the film is that is that you see the parallels of their journeys mm. to where they're going, and that's very powerful. Whether in the play, it's more. Almost like tableau. Bienvenue, Adressa. When I approached Wajdi Mouawad uh, to get the rights, he said to me, when I wrote the play, I suffer a lot. And you will suffer also, but you will suffer alone because I'm going back to Paris to write the, my next play. To have this freedom, I was allowed to uh, remove a lot of things that I thought that belongs to theater. That's why I didn't work because I, I was totally free. <laughs> you shot in Jordan, and your cast was all from the Middle East, including from North Africa. You had uh, some professional actors and some non-professional actors as well, and I think, yet you don't see that, do you, at all? I mean, I, I couldn't tell. My casting director, and she said to me, you know, for the previous f film that I've done, which was The Earth Locker, I work with a um, uh, community in Jordan, the Iraqi refugees. And she said to me that those people are hard workers, they need money, they have time, and uh, they are very good in front of camera. <laughs> the beginning I said, but it's going to be weird. For them, uh, uh, morally weird to, to make a war film with people that are just out of war six months ago, you know something? And uh, quickly I realized that it was the opposite. Those people wanted to participate to the project because for them it was very important to share that, that kind of story with uh, the rest of the world. <laughs> like for instance, people in the bus, I know that there's a man in the bus that experienced that three times. He is the one who was uh, lying. Beside, behind, behind the wheel on the, on the front chair, just beside the two women. Uh, when you see the tanks uh, rolling in the streets, the, the students around the tanks are students from Baghdad, and they were talking to me that the fact that just the noise of the tanks remind them uh, very bad uh, memories. And uh, it was uh, f so I felt a lot of responsibility about the way I was shooting. <laughs> I was kind of pleasantly surprised to hear some uh, Radiohead in the soundtrack. I'd be interested uh, what made you choose to include that. The first scene uh, with the boys and the radio song is, uh, it was a, is the first thing I wrote. I was looking for something that uh, has a very specific dramatic curves in it. Uh, melancholia, a kind of a hypnotism uh, feeling to it, and uh, uh, sadness, and uh, the r lyrics were perfect. So it's just that it was very important for me that the audience knew that I was lying right at the beginning, that uh, it has not, no historical value, that it, it will be a, uh, a point of view of uh, Westerners about a reality that uh, is not its own. Radiohead is not about money, it's about the fact that the band has to see the film and approve it. So I, I wait uh, beside the phone for three weeks uh, and suddenly there was a phone call and it was Christmas because they said yes. You have a little boy, your youngest child, his yeah. son, he keeps saying to you, Daddy, why do you make such dark films, right? But it's, be, it's because my two last films uh, were quite uh, dark. But for me, Incendi is not a dark story. For me, Incendi is a story that brought me a lot of hope about uh, humanity. That is a story that uh, uh, this idea of Wajdi 
that it's possible maybe to end these uh, those cycles of anger inside a family or violence inside a society. What I love about Wajim Wawad is that is he has no cynicism. He believes in humanity and that it brought me a lot of hope. Everybody, please thank Denis. Thank you very much. Denis. Thank you. Sarwan Marwan? Oui. Nous sommes venus vous offrir de l'aide. Vous serez de retour dans une heure. Je peux avertir ma soeur? Non, vous revenez dans une heure. C'est promis. Je vais mettre une chemise. Seconde. <laughs> 